Recently, I saw some news about yet another Libra software project becoming source available, aka proprietary. Way too many projects have switched from some kind of open source status into less open or even completely proprietary. I had an idea that might help these projects and companies or others like them instead of taking this ill-advised path. Hi, my name is Michael and I've been a Linux user and Libra software enthusiast for years and I've contributed to many open source projects. I've even launched service businesses using Libra software so I have a lot of experience with this kind of thing. The problem usually boils down to what license was originally used in these projects and the drastic change that they take. Most of the time, these projects are using either the MIT license, Apache 2 license, or a BSD license. These licenses are extremely permissible, which is great, but also it means that you can basically do whatever you want with the software, even to the point of taking it for yourself and forking it to make it proprietary. I mean, Apple did just that with BSD to make Mac OS, so... The GPL, on the other hand, uh, is a license that requires you to release your software using the same license as you have when you took it. So you have to make your fork Libra software as well. Now it's possible to make software GPL compliant without fully giving out the software for free. You can sell it and it still be compliant to GPL. The only thing you need to do is to comply is to provide the source code to your software, to the people who you give binaries to. So if you sell your software and don't give it out for free, then you can just give it to those who pay for the binaries and it's still GPL compliant. You could also do a model where there's both paid and uh, free sections. So like paid for binaries and the source code you give out for free. So those who want to compile it themselves can do so, but that's not, an, that's not a requirement. That's just an option. So like I said, many companies have switched from being open source slash Libra software to proprietary, and this can be for a lot of reasons. The main reason though I've seen is often that some large corporation is taking advantage of their software and they're getting left out in the rain while the large corporation just rakes in the cash. Now this is basically because of the license that they used allows them to do this I mean, if a big corporation takes their software and then improves it for their purposes and sells it to their customers, then they have absolutely like no obligation to send anything back to the original project, not even code. They can even compete with them. They can create a competing project and step on them like cockroaches, like Mr. Wonderful likes to say. Here's a small list of projects that have changed from being Libra software. We have Redis, which was forked into Reddit and Valky. We have Elasticsearch, which was forked into OpenSearch, Terraform, which was forked into OpenTofu, and CockroachDB. I mean, I only say that because of the Mr. Wonderful line reminded me of CockroachDB, but it's not been forked yet. I just wanted to say it because it was... Uh, anyway, by the way, why on earth would you name your project CockroachDB? Like, just why? What? Okay. <laughs> okay, so here's my idea. It's basically like a reverse to GPL. A lot of companies don't want to use GPL software because they don't have the no strings attached kind of thing where they can just take it and do whatever they want. So they purposefully look for projects using MIT or Apache or BSD or something like that. I'm sure a lot of projects and companies know this and that's why they choose these licenses to appeal to these big dogs. Uh, but the problem is these projects do this and then pivot so hard they become the enemy of Libra software community, resulting in massive backlash and even forks that sometimes can even take over the market from them. I think that the better way of doing this, if you really want to annoy the corporations, because some of these are doing it and then the corporations that they even accused to do these uh, taking advantage of have forked and then their fork becomes the main one because they open sourced it because it's not their main product and therefore they don't have to worry about it, you know, losing the money or anything. So the idea is gain power with the MIT, Apache and BSD, but then later switch to GPL. This will cause a headache for the companies that are taking advantage of you, but not hurt your brand. So it 
also won't enrage the Libra software community because you wouldn't be switching away from open source or Libra software. And then there, then forks wouldn't happen. Uh, so there's that sort of thing. And by switching to proprietary after building a market from Libra software, you are really just hurting yourselves. So just think about it. If you really want to cause headaches for the big corporations or, you know, get back at them for taking advantage, then switch it to GPL. That will annoy them. It won't do exactly what you're wanting, but also going proprietary won't do what you're wanting either. It's just going to result in backlash and uh, re enragement and uh, forks and all sorts of stuff. So w w just consider this idea, at least. The company Redis changed their software from BSD3 to a source available license and quickly multiple forks jumped on the scene. Click this video to learn more about what happened and also the new forks that are making waves.